What is going on? Sunday morning. Or I should tell you. It's almost noon. This person is about to cause an accident because they don't know where they're going. One of my favorite pretzels, man. Frosted pretzels. Oh, uh -huh. it's the way to go. A little rock star recovery to get me going. So I'm gonna share a little something today. It's not totally ready for show. sake of putting something out and at the risk of it being motivational you guys have been around or the guys have been watching me for a while know that I haven't been trying to grow fast you know that I'm more of a low growth type of person well even it's slow growth but still allowing growth I have finally I'm sorry I'm eating while I'm talking however share this before we get there um, even though I've grown slow but pretty steady um, this year that's going to change that's what I want this video is about The back was on. Even at slow growth, as long as you allow growth, as silly as it sounds, you're going to grow. And eventually you're going to have to make decisions on your size, on your everything. You guys that have been running out of your homes for years, like I have. Oh, really sorry about that. <clears throat> you guys have been running out of your homes like I have for years. Know the struggle that, uh, that puts on, I don't want to say struggle that it puts on your family or stress, but it, but it does to an extent. It creates issues, um, storage issues, um, just the way the property looks issues, um, there's things there. And though I didn't have to do this, I have, uh, I have finally pulled the trigger and now we have an office and a shop. I'm going to show what I'm doing so far. It's a long way from... There's a lot that has to go on as far as getting the walls and getting things cleaned up and situated. I did a kind of a quick move out of my storage unit just so I could get out of paying another month's storage and get into my, my shop. Oh, excuse me. Um... So yeah, that's what I'm going to do today. I'm going to share my, the look, as of right now, of the shop. So let's go take a look at that.
Alrighty, you guys will have to excuse the look. Nothing's really set up in the front office yet, um, except I've got some chairs sitting around that just got shampooed, so uh, they might be dry. Yeah, they're dry. Anyway, as you can see, I haven't even brought in a front desk yet. Uh, there really won't be a front office per se. I'm, I'm not using the office manager this year. So, but eventually that's what this space will be for. We've got, well, I need to get water for my water cooler. I think we all know what a bathroom looks like. It's another office. It's more of a um, storage room slash coffee microwave room. You guys can see dogs in there. Murphy comes and hangs out at the shop with me. Turn up the heat a little bit. It's a little chilly. Then this is my office. So my wife got me the desk from as a as a yeehaw from moving in. Uh, still getting my hat situated. Whiteboard, whiteboard. No point in staring at the whiteboards for too long. Set that down. So and this is the shop. Big roll door. I mean, there's a lot of up space. Eventually, well, after I weave my way through the mess here. So, you can see I got a buttload of space. I mean, that's this is everything I have. All my, just about all my stuff. Everything big is here. Um, I mean... As you can see, even my compressor, my toe behind is back there. So I think this shop is, uh, we're 50 by, 50 by 20. Uh, I don't remember the exact height on the, uh, for the shop, but I have a buddy that used to be in the same uh, complex. And what he did, he, like where, where I have my one shelf there, he actually, came all the way across and made a top floor because there's enough room to more than enough room to stand and walk up there so that's what eventually i'm going to get around to doing that's probably a next winter project because we got to get set up and ready to roll for this year but yeah next winter i'm probably going to come all the way across put some stairs over on this side and then we'll have more storage space or something up there we'll put a little second second floor deck or whatever in there but yeah, right now this is what I got going on. Uh, as you can see, I'm still, I mean, when I said I moved in quick, I'm still hanging two by fours and doing my, my hand tool hanger. I'm going to put another two by four up higher, and that's going to be where rakes and stuff go up there. Uh, I have, my parking is up the, up the way a little bit in a, a gravel lot. I mean, it's here but it's not right next to my shop or anything, but it does fine. I can park truck and my truck and trailers are there. So they're not at home anymore. The business is officially out of here. There's the, the business is not at home anymore. Uh, I'm going to make a little blade sharpening station there, a little welding station. So yeah, just all my equipment. And then I'll do an update as things get cleaned up and, it gets a little more presentable, but I just want to share what I've been up to this winter. And uh, even growing slow, we have pushed to the point that, uh, hmm, I could have swore all four of these were up yesterday. So, yeah, so even though I've been slow growing, we're, and see, I got tons of employee parking. I'm not the only business here. Uh, this used to be a construction company that ran out of here. And then that's actually a home builder. All the way, he's his all that one side. And then there's like a cabinet builder up there. And there's a couple businesses in here. I'm the only 
lawn care. Hopefully, we'll be making a relationship soon with that home builder straight across the parking lot. It's going to be my goal here in the next week or so after I get everything moved in. But anyway, I just wanted to share this, guys, and show you even at slow growth you can get to where you want to be or you're going to grow and grow unless you unless you are specifically the murphy's bed dog food water still got the even though some of my stickers sorry i'm being like squirrel right now even though some of my stickers are back there so if you guys don't see your sticker there or yeah i don't really have much What's there? I mean, I still got Ben's card, man. He sent that to me a long time ago. So if you guys don't see your sticker there and you want another one to get out there, let me know or send it to me. Uh, hit me up an email. I'll just send you my my mailing address if you don't if you don't still have it. Uh, anyway, now I'm gonna put another row of hats up there. But anyway, I just want to share real quick that even growing slow, you're eventually going to get to the point that you're going to have to. Uh, have to move on with things unless you're specifically you put a stopper in it and turn it off and I turned mine down a lot I mean I put almost nothing in the marketing um, which we'll talk about plans marketing plans and stuff like that if you guys are interested uh, later on so yeah so I just wanted to share that and let you guys know what I've been doing over this winter and I don't know if that's motivational at all because I haven't even tried to grow and now we're in the multiple trucks and an office and a shop and this isn't to try to boast in any way shape or form because this is this is a pretty scary step for me uh, I think we're gonna be fine well I know we're gonna be fine I've got a good plan uh, I've got a I've, I'm putting together a, a solid marketing plan for the year uh, making some other changes administratively that are going to really push us forward and uh, I'm just looking forward to get the season started. So anyway guys, I just wanted to share this real quick uh, I gotta get out here and get that constructions the construction company's sign taken down from the front of the building so I can get my sign put up. So I will talk to you guys later